Today I'm going to show you how to cut your camera into shapes like circles, love hearts, circles, triangles, even circles. Everything you're seeing right now is done completely within OBS. There's no need for Photoshop anymore, no need for other tools, and yes, that includes the outline around the camera and the drop shadows. So if you've watched another tutorial before and you're like, oh, I know I did this, you're probably thinking that you need a PNG in Photoshop, you don't need to do any of that anymore. Even the animations are done in OBS. It's even possible to use other objects to cut shapes into other objects. For example, I've got like this rainbow rectangle here, and then I can use my green screen camera to cut that rectangle into the shape of my camera. So I don't know if you ever wanted to do that Sailor Moon transformation, you can do that all within OBS. And that's all thanks to a new plugin, which I'm gonna show you how to use right after I make some money real quick. This video is sponsored by VIP SCD Keys. If you guys need a Windows 11 Pro license, they have keys there for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get 30% off. They have a new year sale going on right now. You can also save a little bit more money by getting a Windows 10 key for as low as $15 and those keys can be upgraded to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal, they'll send you a key to your email, slap that into Windows, then you're good to go. Just whatever you do, stop paying full price for Windows, okay? So check him out, link down below. Thank you VIP SCD Keys for sponsoring this video. Um, okay, yes, thank you. So let's get started. So head to the link down below and get the Advanced Masks plugin. It's made by Finite Singularity. He's the same person that made the Drop Shadows plugin that we made a video about a couple weeks ago. So if you're interested in adding Drop Shadows inside OBS, then go watch that video. Uh, super awesome for my ad revenue, honestly. But um, also we're gonna be using that plugin later on today. So uh, go check that one out. So click on download, get it for Windows. There's an installer. And once you restart OBS, you can go into your camera or anything that you want, go into the filters, and you should see a new option that says Advanced Mask. And this is gonna be the filter that allows you to cut your camera into different shapes. Uh, quick tip, by the way, OBS has a hidden feature where you can add a transparent checkerboard pattern. Um, it's, uh, it's called using a PNG file. You can select your shape by using the shape dropdown. So they have a circle here and you can adjust the radius of the circle. You can adjust the position of the circle. You could also uh, recenter it if you don't like that. They also have ellipses, which um, you guys aren't like two. You, you know what an ellipse is, okay? You know your shapes. They have regular polygons. So you can change the number of sides to like an 11 sided polygon. Uh, we'll set ours to a uh, seven uh, gone. You could add a, a corner radius as well to round out the corners. Uh, let's set it to uh, five, um, uh, five gone. You can round out the corners here and make them less sharp. You could also change the rotation of the mask as well. So if you want to like put the five, the flat, part of the, the Fivagon at the top. They have star shapes. You can adjust the size of the star and also the po uh, the point, yeah, the points of the star. You can adjust the radius as well if you want to make it like a, more of like a fatter star. Uh, adjust the number of points as well. And you can also add a corner radius for this too. So you can kind of achieve like a sort of a flower effect if you add more points. And then finally, they have a, uh, a heart shape. You could probably make like a, like, you know how when you go to sports games, they have like the kiss cam. You could probably make some like a, like a kiss cam for this as well. If you just wanted to add a basic rounded corner mask to your camera, you could just set it to rectangle and scroll down to the bottom. It has a uh, corner radius option here as well. So you could just adjust the corners here and then adjust the width and height of your rectangle. And you could do this per corner as well. So if you set this to custom, you can set a corner radius for each of the individual corners, and that will allow you to get a sort of unique looking shape like this. It kind of breaks a little bit if you go too hard on it. All of the shapes also allow you to add feathering. 
So if you wanted to make the edges soft, then you could just adjust the amount here. And that kind of blends the edges of the camera into the background. That supports all of the other shapes too. So you could do it for your flower shape as well. If you want to add some feathering for that, you can do that too. If none of the shapes you want are listed here, you can of course make a custom PNG. So just select image under the mask type. So if you want to make yourself look like an upside down uh, mushroom, but that's pretty much the same as the built-in masking option. So that's, it's not super interesting, but here's where it gets cool because you can combine this with the other plugin that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, the drop shadow plugin. So if you wanted to add a drop shadow or an outline to your shape, you can just press the plus and add, we'll add a stroke for now. And then we can just adjust the stroke size. And all of this is just done directly in OBS. And then if you don't like the shape, just change the shape here to uh, I don't know, a star again. And then you got this overlay all done with an OBS. You don't need to do anything external. You can stack the effects as well. So we'll, we'll change the shape here to a, a circle because I think this circle looks nice. And we'll get rid of the feathering, but you could, you could add an outline here and then below the outline, you could add a drop shadow on top of that. So we'll add a shadow here. Remember from the video we made about the drop shadow plugin, always use the uh, dual Kawase type. Uh, and then we could just in increase the shadow distance here and then increase the size. And uh, you got a really cool looking overlay that you just did using only plugins in OBS. You could also use one source as a mask for another source. So if you've been using the dynamic masks feature of stream effects, but you don't want to use stream effects anymore because it was like hidden behind a paywall, you're in luck because you can have that feature now without having to use stream effects. It sounds confusing, but let me show you how it works. So let's get rid of the filter here. And then I've added this gradient source in OBS, which is just this uh, colorful, spinning rectangle. What I could do is I could add a virtual green screen filter to my uh, camera, NVIDIA background removal, and that will remove the background, but I could use my green screened camera and cut that shape into the colored rectangle. So if I go to that gradient source now, we'll add a advanced mask and then we'll change the mask type to source. And then from here, we can just select any other source that we want. I'm gonna choose my webcam. And then now I've cut my body into the rectangle. This opens up so many avenues for creative ideas. You can even invert the mask, which will make the background the color. And something you can do is you can right click on the gradient and change the show and the high transition to a fade. And if you do that and you turn on and off that gradient, it fades in and out that background. There's a whole lot more you can do, like there's an entire adjustment mask section, which we won't have time to get through today. You can go play around with that if you want. But I wanted to show you how to do some animated masks. So rather than just having static shapes, so we'll go back to doing that flower example. So we'll add the star, and then we will add a corner radius to make it rounded and add more points. So rather than just having a basic boring flower shape, what we can do is we can animate this rotation slider here and make this flower rotate infinitely. And the way to do that is to combine this plugin with the move plugin by Exeldra. I wanna make a move transition masterclass at some point, but I'll show you an example just so you can see how it works. So first of all, install the move plugin if you've never used it before. Uh, I've made videos about it, but uh, we're gonna add a new filter. We're gonna add a move value, okay? And what we're gonna tell this filter to do is you see this rotation slider here, this one right there, we're gonna tell move transition to animate this slider for us. So set the filter to be advanced mask because that's the one that we wanna animate. And then we're gonna leave this at single setting and we're gonna change the setting to rotation because that's the that's the thing that we wanna animate. And we're gonna set the value here to negative uh, 360 degrees. So if I uh, also change the duration to let's just say three seconds. So if we turn this filter on, 
it's gonna spin our camera or spin the flower 360 degrees. But what we wanted to do after that is we wanna reset it back to zero and just infinitely spin the flower over and over again, right? So to do that, we're gonna make a duplicate and this time we'll set the rotation to uh, zero, okay? I don't know why we can't see the rotation. There it is, zero. And change the duration to zero milliseconds. Now we need to link these two filters together. So after we run move value one, we wanna immediately run move value two and then have it cycle over and over. And the way to do that is to just link them together using this next move dropdown. So under move value one, we're gonna say next move will be move value two, then go to move value two and link that one back to move value one. So now if we run this filter here, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna spin our camera and it's just gonna infinitely do that for us. Now you probably don't want it to stop and start. The reason why it's stopping and starting all the time is because we've uh, left the easing on ease in and out. What we need to do is we need to remove the easing. And now if you do that, it's just gonna spin at a constant rate infinitely. If we wanna slow down the, uh, the spinning animation, we just have to change this duration here. So if we want it to spin slower, then we just change the value to uh, make it five seconds. And then uh, that should spin the flower slower. And of course you can bring back that outline and that drop shadow back into the mix. And because it's all being rendered in real time, you get, you get this fully animate, animated overlay. Again, none of this is using external tools. It's just done completely within OBS. That's just one property though. You can literally animate any one of these sliders. It doesn't have to be this rotation slider. If you wanted to, you could animate this radius here. You can animate the position of the mask and make some kind of like uh, James Bond animation. You can animate, if we do like this love heart thing, we could uh, adjust the size of the heart. Literally any of these sliders can be animated if you combine it with mood transition. But with that, I leave you guys today with a challenge. I want you guys to recreate this beating heart effect. Once you've figured out how to do this, send me a video, uh, share it with me on Twitter, and I'll retweet some of the best ones I find. Uh, there's gonna be no prizes. That'd be cool if I could give something away, but I don't I don't have anything to give you. It'll just be, It's just fun, okay? Anyway, I'll see you guys um, whenever. Uh, go follow me on Twitch. Go follow me on uh, everywhere and all of the stuff. And then like hit the like button or something. I, apparently if you say hit the like button now, it like animates uh, the like button under uh, the video. Um, so go check, I don't know if that worked or not, but yeah, anyway, thanks. Um, see you guys, bye.